Welcome everyone to another Mauer Geek video. Today we're going to be doing another versus ransomware video. Specifically, we're going to be taking a look at Avast Free Antivirus and how it handles a ransomware attack. Avast Free Antivirus has some very interesting components, including cyber capture as well as their behavior blocker. They have recently integrated AVG Technologies identity protection into Avast when they acquired AVG earlier this year. In order to prevent signature interference, I have turned off the file shield. However, the behavior shield and cyber capture are still active on the system. I have also disabled their reputation services as all the malware files that I have are known to be malicious. However, I have kept the behavior shield, the mail shield, and the web shield active on the system. So as usual, we have our sample ransomware vulnerable system here where we have some pictures and documents loaded onto the system so we will be simulating a ransomware attack today as usual um, and in this um, folder here I have selected ransomware samples including globe jigsaw locky uh, another version of locky which is a VBS script Mole, Petya, Satana, Shade, Spora, Verlocker, and WannaCry. So we're going to see how well Avast can handle a ransomware attack. Let me start up Kill Switch here so that we can see the ransomware in memory and what it's doing. As usual, let me get that loaded up and I will be right back. Okay, so I have gotten Kill Switch up here. As usual, we are going to go from the least sophisticated sample which is Jigsaw and we're just gonna move down the list and see how well Avast can uh, handle this ransomware so let's start with Jigsaw which is the .NET framework based ransomware appears to have been terminated quite quickly and there we go we have an alert immediately from Avast Jigsaw.exe has been moved and IDP generic behavior shield so it appears that Avast picked up on that one and immediately got rid of it so that's exciting so Jigsaw has been taken care of let's try Locky this is a fairly recent version of Locky let me pull up kill switch here so we can see it in memory there it is Its rating is an error according to Komodo. That might be a broken version. Let me try my VBS um, script and see if that'll see if I can kill the process. Yeah. So let me try uh, the VBS script actually. I know that one works for sure. Okay. That one is actually trying to access a malicious URL. And it aborted the connection. So it was probably trying to download a malicious script or a malicious payload. Let me actually, let me disable uh, um, the web shield. Just so we can see if it actually stops the ransomware. There we go. And we have a payload in memory. But it seems to have been terminated quite quickly. And once again, the random executable has been moved to the virus chest. And uh, again, it triggers an IDP generic alert from Avast. Okay, so Locky is out of here. We'll try Mole. Again, it was picked up. Uh, IDP, generic. Behavior shield. So, Mole was not able to dig its hole. So, let's try Petya. See if that one works.
I don't know why it's giving me this weird error. Um, I'm not sure if that's something to do with the Komodo. Um, with the Komodo um, servers or something. But these executable files do work. I've tried them. So I'm going to let this run for a minute and then we'll see uh, what happens. Okay, so Petya um, doesn't seem to be doing anything that I can see. It hasn't caused the machine to crash or anything like that. So uh, this sample is the same sample I've been using for a while now. Unless it's command and control servers are down or something like that. And I can't seem to kill the process, which suggests that it had some kind of uh, persistence. But anyways, we'll move on. We'll try Satana. Again, it gives me an error. But Satana's gone. Okay, so that one was caught by the behavior shield as well. And removed. So the behavior shield seems to be very, very uh, responsive. And it's taking care of a lot of this ransomware, which is exciting. So let's try Shade, which is a very nasty ransomware sample. Tries to download all kinds of malware from the internet. As well as encrypt your files, you know, because apparently, uh, you know, just encrypting your files isn't good enough. Okay, it looks like that one may have been detected as well because it's gone. Yep, that one was caught as well. Once again, IDP generic from the behavior shield. And it has been terminated. Now we'll try Spora, which has a more sophisticated uh, encryption process. Once again, that one is also caught by the behavior shield and removed. Alright, so we're doing pretty good here. Let's try Verlocker. Looks like it was trying to load a uh, payload there in memory. And again, and again uh, Avast gets rid of it. So I'm really surprised. Let's try WannaCry, which um, was extracting some of its stuff there. And uh, again, it looks like it has been detected. Yes. IDP generic, behavior shield. And it got rid of it. And these can just easily be deleted. Now let's try Globe, or the Globe Imposter, which tries to restart the system. But, uh, but again, it doesn't do anything. It's been detected and uh, removed by Avast. So, anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to restart the computer really quick. That's all of our samples that I have. I'm going to restart the computer really quick, make sure Petya hasn't made any kind of malicious changes, and uh, I'll be back and we'll talk about it. So, be back in just a second. Okay, so uh, Avast um, did a great job. The machine has booted up. There were no malicious changes made by Petya. Um, so, it just seems like Avast has a very responsive um, behavioral analysis. And uh, it seems very, um, very exciting. I mean, they have some really good components that they've integrated into their free antivirus uh, to protect you from malware and ransomware. So every one of those files was, uh, you know, pretty much blocked. I mean, all these files that I have on here, these uh, sample files that I always have on my sample ransomware um, machine, None of them were touched. Everything is intact. You know, all of these pictures are fine. So, uh, did a great job. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. And, um, definitely excited about a vast free antivirus. I think it does a great job. So, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. 
Okay, so I just wanted to add this on to the end of the video. Because um, some people may be wondering, well, why didn't Petya, you know, encrypt the master boot record like it normally does? Well, as we all know, um, Avast was installed on that machine, and I did execute Petya like I executed every other sample, and Petya did absolutely nothing. Usually it causes the virtual machine to crash. Well, here's the same file that I was using on... Um, to test a vast and we'll just pull up task manager here because that'll be fine and uh, let's launch Petya and see what happens on an unprotected machine by the way there is no uh, antivirus on this machine there you go virtual machine crashes so let me restart it and then I'll show you what the effects are okay so here's the effect of an unprotected machine versus what happened when Avast was on the machine. Um, Petya is encrypting our files right now. So uh, this is the fake check disk thing you get uh, that Petya does when it encrypts your files. So, um, yeah, so there you go. Avast was able to stop it. Even though it was in memory, it wasn't doing anything. So... Anyways, just wanted to add that on to the end of the video. I'll talk to you guys later.